Okay, and welcome. This is another quick tutorial vi video on how to import the DMR database contacts into the Anytone D868 radio. Uh, I had another video, however, that method is no longer applicable as they have moved the DMR mark database over to a European software uh, server, and they have also stripped out a lot of the relevant information such as last names, uh, states, and towns from this database to comply with European privacy laws, which I don't quite feel correct with, as they should have done a uh, US database that still allowed this information, kept a separate European database, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, anyway, because of this new site, uh, they no longer have the format of the CSV files that can be imported directly into the Anytone D868 CPS software. Uh, so I've created a script that allows you to download the CSV files they do provide uh, and convert it into the Anytone format. I will provide this link in uh, the URL over in the description for this video uh, so you can download this file. I'm going to keep this updated. I usually go through and update it every now and then uh, for any new features or any changes made to the script. So, But you go to that link and you just download the zip file and I've created a, um, let's see, a folder. Just basically save it to any folder you have. Um, and then once you download that file, you can go into that folder uh, you have the zip file here, and you can just extract it to that folder. Creates a couple little files. Um, this is a PowerShell script. You can actually go through and look at the script yourself if you want to verify uh, that's genuine and what it does. Um, but you can always, you know, check it out yourself or just run it. And what you'll do is right-click it and go to Run with PowerShell. And it will automatically go through and download the file. And right now it's going through and formatting and modifying the CSV file to the AnyTone format. Uh, and I haven't even given you the number of records um, and the number of file um, number of uh, changes. If you had run the script before, it'll say that, like say 300 new contacts or whatever was added, and it will save the file into this file in the same folder with the date and time added. I've also added some logic into the script so that if it runs through and downloads the file and realizes that it's the same file and it hasn't updated since then because they only updated a few times a day, it'll actually remind you and say ask you if you want to override it and do it anyway or just skip it and use the existing file. Uh, so now that you have this CSV file, um, it will actually go and open the Anytone CPS software here. Once you're going, you go to Tools, Import, and right under Digital Contact List, you will click that and you'll go to the folder that we created. Um, and you'll see this is the file that we just did and you can import that directly into the radio. And click the import button when you once you select it and this process sometimes takes a minute or two I have a fairly fast system it still takes a good amount of time to go through and import um, you usually just want to give it a few seconds and also one other thing to that script I made also has some logic built into it where I'll actually go through and archive um, old versions of the database that you have downloaded into a uh, zip file archive uh, so that you can always go back and look at previous information as well too I'm also working on creating a version of the script that can merge old contact information from the DMR mark database before they made the move uh, so that we can also have state and town information for those users that were added to it before in the file. Um, they don't quite have that completed, but if you stay tuned and download this version of the script, hopefully at some point I will have that added. And here we go, the import is complete. And if you go under digital and under contacts, you'll find that information has been thrown into the CPS. And um, you can go through and browse this list and when you're ready to write to radio you just write it to your radio as you normally would. Um, except when you do this you have to make sure to check this digital contact list box. And this will take an additional couple minutes to import into your radio but that's how it works. It's a lot of information to write. So, Alright, hopefully you find this useful.